Ada Wong has had quite a few voice actresses over the years, but this latest one, Lily Gao, is getting a ton of of backlash online so much that she deactivated her Instagram now was this backlash warranted was it bullying as they say or is it just one of those things to where it's like okay you're gonna have to buck up buttercup because criticism will happen in the entertainment field in general especially when you're reprising a role from a well-established character that already has a lot of fans let's just go ahead and dive into the video and assess the situation. So this comes to us from Yahoo and they said, Ada Wong voice actor Lily Gao has deactivated comments on her Instagram post after receiving thousands of vitriolic comments criticizing her portrayal of Ada Wong in the Resident Evil 4 remake. So whilst most of the hateful comments have now been shielded from view, some players managed to snapshot them revealing how unnecessarily unpleasant some aspects of the fandom have been towards Wong, which here they are, which hold on, I have to like disable dark mode on Twitter and then enable it again on here. It's just weird like that. <laughs> anyway, so this person says y'all always take things too far. Let's see what the criticism says, okay? This one says you ruined the remake. I feel like I just wasted my money by buying the deluxe edition to get this VA to dub Ada. Um, to me, fair criticism, whether you agree or not. I don't see any personal attack or bullying here. This is just criticism about her performance. So it is what it is. Oh, uh, let's go to the next one. Great. Now when Separate Ways comes out, I have to put it on mute. Worst voice acting I've heard in years. Why Capcom hired you instead of the past actress is beyond me. Again, this is criticizing her work. Your voice acting was horrible in the Resident Evil 4 remake. It sounded super stiff and there was nothing seductive about it. It didn't fit at all. Oh my freaking goodness. I hope they don't hire you as Ada's voice actor for another game. Now, some people are inevitably going to reply and be like, oh, what? Because she mentions it doesn't sound seductive. And they're going to be like, well, why does she have to sound seductive? Why blah, blah, blah. The thing is, is Ada Wong is a femme fatale character. So making her voice has in the past been seductive sounding because it just, again, she's a femme fatale character. It's fitting. Uh, so that's why it's not just misogyny as some people want to claim. And a, and a woman, and I'm so glad a woman said this. All right, so let's continue. You're a professional voice actor, and this is the performance you give. Sounded like you were hung over after taking a red-eye flight when reading the lines. Again, now, is this nice comment? No, these are not nice. They would not be pleasant to have to read that, but it is criticism on her work. It's to be expected. I don't think anything here that we've seen constitutes as bullying. That said, do I think they necessarily should go to her social media accounts and throw all this at it no I think that probably would be a lot more productive to send this criticism to Capcom instead of her because she isn't exactly the one who made the decision yes she took the role but what she's supposed to do just not take the role that's offered to her that's money that's a job that's food on her table you know so here's the thing it's what I think about Camilla Luddington for example who I did not like voicing Lara Croft I think Granted, with the reboot, what they were going for, I guess if her voice fit. But I personally just don't think she sounds like Lara Croft. Uh, but I would never, ever, ever go to her social media and share my criticisms of that. Uh, I feel like that would just be a bit rude. So I do think that this is rude to do that on her personal accounts. But is it bullying? No. And is it entirely wrong that they did that? No, they have the right to do that. It's social media. It's an open platform. You know, whenever you have your, your stuff open, that's just how it is. I get criticism all the time about whatever, you know, whatever I'm doing. And that's fair. That's what it's, that's what social media is about. That's what people can, people can go on there. People can leave comments on my video and tell me I'm terrible at what I do all they want. Um, so that's the th thing with this, right? It's one of those things. It's it's one of those things. But let's go ahead and continue here. Um, anyway, so then this is where they were quoting that. Uh, why do they act like she personally tried to murder them? Uh, okay, Gao has declined from commenting on the issue publicly, but quietly removed replies from any posts mentioning 
her role in the remake and now all but one post has been removed from public view which is funny because the only one that's up there is about telling white people how they should feel guilty about being white basically which is stupid but that's a whole other topic uh but let's go ahead and go down memory lane just so for those who don't know or if you just want to refresh her let's see her voice actresses along the years which sally here i think was the best voice actress for ada wong but let's continue Leon, long time no see. True? About what? I see you've been doing your homework. See, it's like a very, like that other commenter said, she has like a seductive, sultry voice, which for a femme fatale character, that's fitting. You want like that, uh, uh, you know, not too cutesy sounding, but then at the same time, like still feminine, but almost like, a deep feminine voice like, it's hard to explain but it's very perfect like when you just look at the character here it's perfect What's i think her you? voice is perfect huh. but oh she's white so of course that that would be an issue uh, for them all right and so here we have uh, resident evil the umbrella chronicles dream situations in umbrella's underground laboratory i forgot that wisdom i think this voice is also perfect to, uh, I think both of the, the the first one and her are 10 out of 10 for Ada Wong. In my Something opinion. about the meeting with Leon changed me. Just very like, very, very confident, very sultry, very womanly. This is a femme fatale voice. All right, now let's go to Courtney Taylor here, which I personally didn't like her voice that much for Ada, but it's not egregious. That sounds like Simmons, all right long story she gets the actual tone right and how she's delivering the voice um in terms of like okay this is that femme fatale and it is still is a sultry voice so she is doing good but i just think compared to the two before it's not my favorite but uh, it's just the sound that so much We're isn't up against the people who really run this country i mean again not egregious not terrible and sh the the acting's good but I just like the two before better, personally. Uh, all right, let's continue here for the Resident Evil 2 remake voice. It's just me. So I can put that thing away. I don't hate this voice for her, but I don't love it either. Because this just is just kind of a basic voice. It's not a femme fatale voice for her so as much. Uh, I told you to get out of here. I know a lot of people wanted the Resident Evil 2 remake voice actress back. But I don't know wouldn't want to end up like Ben would you Find it's not awful but it's just it I uh, compared to these first two it's just not doing it all right now let's go here dead by daylight voice this is this is rough I'm just gonna say it this is rough can you Leon Leon so you've been caught up in this too so you've been caught up in this too <laughs> I don't know it's just not I don't know dude Hope you have the stomach for it. Uh, that does not even... How? How? That's not a... It's just not a sexy voice, which... And before people are just like, why are you hating on women? My voice ain't sexy. Like, bro, I know my voice is weird, but I ain't voicing Ada Wong. <laughs> All right. Now let's continue to Lily Gao here, which, by the way, I do actually get a lot of comments about my voice. People saying they hate my voice. <laughs> Which is fine, but okay. All right, let's continue. Not a bad move. Very smooth. Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now. And who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. That's just... It's just... <laughs> It's bad. Like, the backlash is warranted. It is completely warranted. Now, should they, again, should they be all over her social media and bringing it up to her? I don't think that's the right place to direct your criticisms. I think the better place would be to Capcom because she can't really do that much about her voice. You know what I mean? It's just bad casting. Not to say she can't. She can voice another character, but not Ada. 
because Ada just has that femme fatale, sultry, very womanly voice. And that's just not what she has. Just like, I don't have that kind of voice either. It just doesn't work. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. Yeah, it's just... This is this was the, the dude's channel. I listen to all this stuff. Feel free to listen on his channel. I see you. All that stuff. But anyway, there you have it for this video. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But again, just kind of the summary of this whole situation for me is that I think that the criticism is absolutely valid. I don't see any any bullying personally not to say that it wasn't there but if these articles if those are the comments that the articles are pulling up and you know they're going to want to find the most extreme ones then I don't think it's as bad as people are letting on so I think that the backlash was warranted I just think maybe perhaps they should be putting most of the uh directing most of their criticisms toward Capcom because Lily Gal can't really do that much about it okay she just can't she can't uh, so anyway, there you have it for this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you next time. In the meantime, go boom.